Titans, Patriots. What more can you ask for here in the AFC East? And Jay Wall with that MOM, giving props to his mom. Will kick it off to Blocky, and Blocky will take it out of his own end zone. That's Tyreek Hill past the 20 yard line, and they'll force him out at the 26. And from a strategic standpoint in this game, Scott, it's a real treat because you're going to see one of the best gun bunch runners in the entire nation going up against one of the best gun trips tight end runners in the entire nation. So these are two of the most popular offenses on the entire circuit being run by two people that know how to work them the best. Should be a lot of fun. Now you mentioned Blocky getting all that experience last year. Squeaking in, by the way, to the... Uh, Madden Bowl, the ultimate league, coming in at number 16, but proved he belonged, making it all the way to the semifinals there in Dallas as they set their audibles. Want to say a big hello to those out there watching us all over our digital platform, especially our friends in Twitch. They're out there getting those drops and seeing some good Madden. Here on day two of four, leading all the way up to February 2nd. It'll be 8 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN News. That's when the final will air. And here is Blocky with Vic. Gives it to Dion, and he'll spin his way to the 35. <laughs> See Jaywall getting cute with his D line right there, pinching them in there. It's like they were merging as one. That was a creepy little defense right there by Jay Wall. Real quick, Scott, too, the playbooks. You got Blocky running the New England offensive playbook and the New York Giants defense. Well, our guy Jay Wall will be in the Denver Broncos offensive playbook, also in the New York Giants defense like Blocky. And there is Dion, lucky not to fumble at the 43. That'll be enough to move the chains. Yeah, Blocky is going to be able to move the chains time and time again. He is known, as I said at the top of this game, as one of the best gun bunch runners in the entire nation. He is also a young man that plays cream of the crop competition on the regular, Scott. When I talk to these players, who have you been with, practicing with to get ready? It almost seems like everybody says Blocky. And there's Tyreek. We'll make a move inside the red zone. All the way down to the 15-yard line. And you're going to see Blocky get his wide receivers involved. Going back to his first game in, this ev in the event, 95% of his passes went to his wide receivers, Scott. So this isn't a guy that's looking to get the halfback or the tight end involved. He's looking to let them block, buy him some time, and get those elite wide receivers that he has in this gun bunch the ball. He did it right there. Bunch to the right. And oh, that's, that's risky. Point. Lucky. That's just incomplete. See that out of position. Tyrod Taylor in the slot for Jay Wall made a big pick six for him yesterday. He says, that's my slot corner, G. He's only 24 cap, 80 zone, 80 man, 87 speed. He has the most man in zone for someone with that low cap, which is why he used him. He says, that's a sleeper player in much salary cap. Well, don't care about ice. Found out that he had 68 catching as well <laughs> with that pick. And there's Sharp. He said the other thing he likes about him is that number five looks swaggy. You know, when that number five's taking the pick back for six, it's a whole nother aura. And then he did get the cap. That's my quarterback. You threw out a quarterback. So he likes the swagginess of that out of position, Tyrod Taylor, as well. Third and three. Halt the eight-yard line. Opening drive here for Blocky. One of the top players in all of Madden. Jay Wall, look at him. Look at the D-line scum. They merge as one, but I don't know what the benefit of that is. Looks like a bug to me. That, that's weird defense, Scott. They go full Voltron there on the defensive line. But, hey, Ben don't break, and you're going to force a field goal here. And I'm just going to assume by the sounds it's good. I got to ask Jay Wall, what's going on with that at some point? I don't know what the benefit of that would be, Scott. You get all your pass rushes seem to be running at the center on that three-man rush, and it looks cool, but I, I don't know how efficient that is. Oh, my guy, Jay Wall, a.k.a. Jake Wallach, 18 years old. Well, there's Providence, some Florida serious. Island. Oh, they're gonna Joe Rice. 
But that's that's going to be an interesting ball game. There's no question about that. They're watching on. Huh? So, Didn't so. mean to interrupt you, RG. No, no, it's fine, dude. You, you have a good time up here. We do have a good time. Sometimes the chat goes in on us, but we do have a good time. I love them anyway. It's true. Uh, we, we wouldn't be here w without those guys in the chat. You know, it, it's everybody that views and supports and helps to grow the support. None of this happens without you guys. So I'm sorry if I, could bo if I bother you sometimes, but <laughs> your support's still greatly appreciated. First to 10. You're a gem, RG. I can tell you that. Here comes Jay Wall, his first possession of the game, trips to the left. Vic in the gun. It's Cooper in motion. And he's going to call a timeout here. And one of the things that I found interesting about Jay Wall's offense, Scott, is we've been talking about these chemistry abilities, the playmaker, the elite route specialist, the deep route specialist, all these unique things people have done to their offense. Jay Wall has no abilities on his team. He is just running with a base normal team with no abilities, and what that allows him to do is just spend his cap on better players because he's not wasting it on those abilities. I thought that was a very interesting note on his roster. He'll hand it off to Eckler. 91 overall. He put him to work yesterday. But you're playing a little different beast in here when you're talking about Blocky. Oh, Blocky has so much experience for how young he is. Last year was the first year he really started to make a name for himself. But even before that, this was a guy that was making it quite deep in the online elimination, step by step, getting better and better. And before he knew it, he found himself in the final four of that ultimate league. Made a good chunk of change while he was at it as well. Vic. Oh, Vickens! We'll reach out there. That should be enough for the first down, and it is. New set of downs at the 35. Scott Cole and RG with you here. Skimbo will join us for the final game of the day. He'll be back for the next one. It's going to be a good one, too. Young kid. Anytime the Kiver laces it up, it's going to be a good one. Especially against T. Davis. I mean, he's been hot lately. Good player. Oh, T. Davis actually started the season off the whole club championship with a win there in Arizona. And here comes the second and two. Vic in the gun. Almost everybody's got him. There's been a few McNabs out there. I've seen a. Steve Young or two. Like this play, he's got tight end underneath with a deep cross and streaks outside to stretch the field. An awkward slide, but that'll be enough to move the chains. He's near midfield at the 46. It's always been an effective tactic in Madden. When you get two crossing routes coming from the slot, in that case it was the slot and the tight end going across the field, and the two outside receivers on streaks to take to clear out those outside DBs. It's a scheme that's always been very, very effective, especially if you can buy the time in the pocket to let those routes develop. Hands it off to Eckler again, keeping him honest. Two carries for 11 yards. That'll bring up a second and eight. Jay Walls is methodically moving this ball slowly but surely, not forcing anything so far. And I, I like how he motions so often with that slot receiver. It makes, it makes it look like it's the same look all the time, but it's a variety of different plays. And that should be enough for another first down. And he will move the sticks. Now he's at the 44. We got the Dolphins and Patriots. This is the AFC East divisional final. They're trying to move on to the round of eight. Winner of this game, just this game. We'll take home 20 grand. I, I've still been trying to forget about that. The last time the Patriots and Dolphins met in real life, I, I still have bad flashbacks about that. Poor Gronker out there on the defensive side of the ball. Wow, big hit by Blocky. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. It's a score of three to nothing. But check out the Madden game day program. You can check it out. It's on the competitive tab in the Ultimate Team menu. You can get Madden Pro players, coaches, MCS uniforms, and some exclusive MUT content. And you can get that content right now. 
So a 3 nothing ball game as we move to the second quarter. Five-minute quarter, 20-minute games. Hey, 20 minutes to make 20 grand. Where do I sign up for that? Yeah, each of these guys has already got $7,500 for this tournament. You turn it into 20000 after this game's got a $12,500 game of Madden football, plus keeps your tournament life alive with a chance to turn it into 100000 Fair to say it's a big game. I was told there'd be no math. Second and 10. He might take a shot here. Up to the right side. Looks picked up. There's the drag up underneath him right Oh, we got to be careful. Well, that dive is scary. Picks up the first down. They're calm and cool and collective. You don't Driving want... down the field here to the 28. You just got to be careful with that dive. Like you said, you don't want some physics knockout to come over, you know, to happen in that occurrence. You were already right there. Fortunate for J-Wall, though, he'll hold on to the rock. So first and 10. 28 yards from pay dirt. Trailing by three. J-Wall loves these comeback routes. He, he's one of the only players I've seen utilize these comebacks. That's a timing <laughs> pattern, and he doesn't have enough time to make the throw. And I don't think it was open anyway. Box it up. And here's the thing. Blocky feels he is very prepared for this gun trips tight end. He says, I've been going up against world-class trips tight end for the last two years by playing my boy Manu. And then recently he's been playing Canes as well, who we just saw, who loves to run this trips tight end offense. So Blocky very first in defending this type of offense and formation. J-Wall steps, oh! throws, oh. nearly picked off. That was definitely bird box issue. You had two Dolphins defenders right in that area. Not the read you want to be making if you're J-Wall. That's going to bring up a third and ten. Boy, Block, he thought he had one. J-Wall in that Tommy Ball game jersey. It's got to give him a little extra pep in his aura. Plus three pep for That's, that number 12. Oh, absolutely. At least plus three pep. A little motion. Big third down here from the 28. Can't take a sack. Good defense by Blocky. Wow. That's going to push him back to the 36. I'm an old man. You got to listen to me. Well, that was phenomenal defense by Blocky. Look at him. He goes with the vertical, takes away the crossing route, comes back for the underneath crossing route. And by the time Jay Wall tried to make his mind up, there was a meeting at the quarterback sack lunch. Tied ball game early on. Josh Lambeau, the 79 overall kicker, ends up kicking it through, though. So we're tied at three. But that surely made it a longer field goal than it needed to be. See what Jay Wall can do here on defense. This is a guy who likes to stay in this nickel 3-3-5 doable pretty much exclusively all game, Scott. And he just bounces around between a cover two and a cover three look. In his first game in this tournament, he ran the cover two 22 times while he ran the cover three 16 times. So he'll mix around those coverages very often, but he'll always set up that defense the same way. If you got any questions for RG, longtime Madden player, Madden pro, Works for EA, and a great question that we get a lot, uh, especially for those those that are new to what we're do here in John Madden football. Schmitty, 007 wants to know, how do I get involved in this game? How do I become a pro? Well, we got the Madden Challenge going on right now. The the, the, the qualifiers are open. The the easiest thing that I could say for people that ask that question, Scott, is just go to MaddenChampionship.com. If you go there and do the research, there's tons of information, and it's constantly being updated. That's just the website that you should be visiting to familiarize yourself with the opportunities that there are in this great eSport of competitive Madden. So first and 10, and the Madden Challenge coming up in March. It's going to be on Mutt Draft. That's a whole different mode. That's a fun one as well. Vic. I I'm getting such a kick out of this little, ooh, big hit, this little D-line scum. Kind of reminds me of Super Mario Brothers. They get the little, little mushroom guys slowly moving. Uh, I mean, I, I, there's a lot of things that are different between real life and competitive Madden. And I can assure you that's not simulation football right there. Look at this. Look at them. <laughs> Look at these flips the, When he flips the defense. What are you doing? The DNs flip. It's, it's bizarre. It's just letting them roll out, though, at will. There's no containment on the outside. There's no pressure. 
I, I'm sure there's some a reason behind it, but for now, looking at it, I, I don't understand it. It doesn't look like a great strategy, in my humble opinion. Then again, there's a reason why Jay Wall's up there on the stage, and you know I've been up here in the booth for a long time now, so I'm sure he knows something that I don't. We start each and every day at 3 p.m. Eastern time. We got one game after this. It's going to be T. Davis and Young Kiv. To find out who's going to win the NFC West. It's a cover two by J. Wall. He continues to check down to that route. Almost stripped it away. And now he's at the 31. And there goes the two-minute warning. If you're at home, pay attention to J. Wall's defense. And pay attention to those safeties. He's constantly going to align them up and kind of make it look like a two-shell. But it's going to bounce around between a cover three and a cover two quite often. So here on second and five, we got a tie ball game, 3-3. Blocky representing the Miami Dolphins. The lineman, there's Bairdos, another two. It's got room. Well, you know, when something's good, they call it glitchy. That defensive line ain't glitchy. It's not glitchy right now, especially against Mike Vick, who you don't want to let get outside the pocket, and you're just pinch, pinching in your D-line, trying to form Voltron. As you like to say, Scott, but they ain't doing nothing. There's no action. There's no pressure. The Vickens is running around like he's having a good time, lally gagging around on offense. And, and Blocky's just slowly but surely moving this ball at will. And there goes Vick. Oh, you got to be careful, again. though. Ooh. Down inside the 10. It'll be second and three with 120 to go in the second. And the real difference, I mean, when you talk about these different tiers of pro Madden players, it's the clock management, the game management. Blocky's in no hurry right here. Uh, and he's going to be so prepared. I mean, the people he surrounds himself with is guys like Manu, Problem. I mean, these are top, top players, Scott, for the last several years. And when you're getting refs with guys like that on a consistent basis, it's going to do wonders for your game. Boy, a big time hit. There's a timeout from Jay Wall on a third and two. He's got ideas of getting it back. Big play right here. And you see Blocky. Look how even keel Blocky is. It's not like that cross joke game. Right? You're not going to get in Blocky's head. He is just always going to stay as cool as a cucumber. He's relaxed up there. He's just focused on one play at a time. He has a true champion's mentality when he plays this game. Vic. Big play. And oh, and deep he's going to be sacked wall. back at the 17. Deep. Oh, and now Jay's talking to Blocky, but like I told you, you're not going to be able to face the He just the laughs it off. He's like, all right, man. I don't even know if Blocky will give you a smirk. The first time I saw Blocky, Dave Grunfeld was calling a game down there with the Dolphins. It was last year. He had these short shorts on. Like, he just came from the beach. Old school bird style. Just walked, yeah, walked in there and like, hey, what's up, dudes? I'm going to win some Madden. And, and, and boom, bang. Well, Next thing you know, I, I'm a huge fan of Blocky. Well, remember, I mean, he, that's that Miami, Florida swag. swag. Abbott Lopez, 22 <laughs> years old. Oh, there's a little smirk sorry. out of him. That might be the first time I saw it. But Miami, he is from Miami, Florida. He actually just graduated college in December, got his degree in criminal justice. So congratulations to Blocky on that. Well, you might be given a call sometime in your life, I can tell you that. Yeah, he might be the future sheriff. The new nickname for him, Blocky the Sheriff. He needs a nickname. I mean, of course, I mean, Blocky's pretty good. I mean, a criminal <laughs> justice is good for him because we've seen him lock up quite a few people already. So that's the truth. If the shoe fits. Second and four now, no timeouts. 30 seconds to go in the half. Yeah, Jay Wall just taking his time. You got to make sure if you're Jay Wall, you don't turn the ball over right here. But if you can get into field goal range, you'll be loving it. Here's that X spot play. He loves this X spot. This is why he switched into Denver Broncos playbook. Vic all alone is Kittle. It's ticking. And I think that was smart. He wasn't trying to stop and go there. He was like, please tackle me so I can run another play. So, uh, nice hurry up, too. Got to the line very quickly and efficiently. This is going to be the last play, Scott. Got to look to the end zone. There's a shed. Oh, One no, well, second lied. left in the half. I'm a liar. You caught me. So one more play here at the end of the half. 
Here's some motion. Amari Cooper, the Raiders version, comes across the formation. Vic. Looking downfield, looking to the end zone. No. And the half will come to an end. Blocky, six. Jaywall, three. We've had a field goal fest here in the second half. No time for highlights. We're in hurry up mode here. We got to get all these games in. Just day two of four. We got a long way to go in this tournament. As RG alluded to, a $13,000 game of Madden. You can get to 20 grand for the week if you come up with a W right here. Jaywall will take the opening second half kickoff back to the 24. Technically, it's a $12,500 game. No math. But, but who's no, counting? No math, RG. <laughs> You know I was told there would be no math. You know we're in trouble when I'm the math guy. <laughs> <laughs> I've trying to. I've been trying to round up for years. It's a three-point ball game. J Wall, no doubt, still in this thing. He could go down here and take the oh, lead. Oh, free Russia! Wow. Was that Taylor? That looked like Jason Taylor coming through. And look at that, a little reaction from Abbott Lopez. <laughs> this is the first time for everything. Blocky showing some passion, and that just shows you how big this game is, Scott. Gets Jay Wall in a second and 20. How will he respond? Blocky doesn't like something. Wow, he really must not have liked what he saw to use a timeout in the second half like that. Look at this free Russia, not even blocked. Quarterback meat taste sweet. Well, let's take a listen into a rare. Come on. Rare response from Blocky. He's into it, man. It's a big game, but there's a big dart by Wall. Well, we got a guy in the community called the Silent Soldier. Him and Blocky, well, they played each other. There would be no words. Remember, my guy Jake Wallach from Providence, Rhode Island, he just turned 18 years old this month, Scott. He's still in high school, and I'll tell you what, he's been walking around the high school swag, and when you can walk around in high school and tell everyone I'm going to play for $100,000 to rep your favorite team, the New England Patriots, you're going to have a little extra pep in your step as well from that. Ooh, Ooh there goes Vickens. Get down, Vickens. My first car was $4,000, a 1982 Chevrolet Silverado. Uh, I worked all summer for that. He's about to do it in a week. In a week. And he said, shout him out, G. The, all his friends at Moses Brown High in Providence, Rhode Island, they're going to be back home watching, rooting on the Patriots representative. Right now he's trying to put on a show for you guys. But he's got a buzzsaw he needs to get through in young blocky. It's in plus territory. Vic picks up a few blocks there, and there's Kittle. Might have lost yards there fighting through the tackle. That's a gain of two. You see both of these guys, though, we, we told you you're going to see some of the best gun bunch and some of the best gun trips tight end that there is in the nation. You notice how both of these guys aren't really forcing passes. It's not this huge, explosive, one-play touchdown type of stuff. Both guys willing to check check down, take what you give them, and methodically move the ball. And that's what's, what it's going to take if you want to be a world-class player. Second and eight, he'll hand it off to the inside. I got to check in with chat here for a moment. Who do you guys got in this name? It is Blocky 6, J-Wall 3. That's close enough to still make a call here. You guys got Blocky, you guys got J-Wall. We got a ways to go here in the third. I got one for the chat after, but I'm going to wait for a second, Scott. Don't let me forget. Big third down. Directing all kinds of traffic at that line is J-Wall. No one's open. Nobody's open. And it'll be an incomplete pass as he got it away as he was hit. And Blocky yelled back. Right as he gets to stop, Scott, back. Same thing he yelled when he got the big stop on Skimbo in the Ultimate League. And remember, when he beat Mike in that Ultimate League, Scott, I just, sorry, Skim, I don't want to keep bringing it up. It was an overtime game yep. that came down to the wire. We were going bananas calling that one. He's an incredible player. 
Both these guys have beaten Skimbo. Fourth That's and all seven. you need to know. Here we go, fourth and seven. Oh, what do you got, Jay Wall? Looks like he's got two streaks on the outside, a deep cross from the slot. He's going to have to buy time in the pocket. Oh, it's going to be close. And Kettle will pick up the first down at the 37. There's Joe Rice, some serious, tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Hanging out in the players' lounge. Some serious got Memphis, Tennessee on his back right now. You go to that players' lounge, he's constantly FaceTiming all his people back there in Memphis. He's got a ton of support coming from the hometown. Ooh. Boy, Amari Cooper. One-handed grab. That was going to go right to the outside linebacker. Jay Wall doing a good job to extend this drive. Got the big fourth down conversion. Gets himself into blocky territory here. Only down three. And I have a feeling, Scott, that this one's going to come down to the wire. Oh, there's pressure. Vic will go down. There's Jason Taylor, the legend. And he just looks at home in that Miami Dolphins uniform. Yeah, and I'll tell you, Blocky's been running this 3-3-5, uh, these block shed type defenses, all the way since last year. This is his style of defense. He's known for getting those sheds and sending pressure strictly through the shed and not always having to send the blitz. Very prolific with that. Need 17. Here on third down. What Wide dot. open, it's Kittle. What a dot. Looking like Tommy Ballgame in the Tommy Ballgame jersey. It's not Gronk, but it's Kittle just sitting down in that curl route. You got to love it. And if you've been watching, Scott, one thing that I've learned watching these great players, if you're not utilizing curl routes, you're doing it wrong. Underrated well, route. The hitches and the curls have been OP. Especially in that red zone, but these guys have done a fantastic job just mixing it in. All Look at the, the delay. Oh, There's Eckler. He'll move the chains. In the red zone at the 15 now. And Eckler's what I like to call a budget beast. He's a guy that's going to give you about 93 speed at the halfback position. That's the playoff Eckler. But he's not going to cost you a ton of cap. It's one of those guys you're going to want to look at if, you, if you're building your salary cap squad for this last chance qualifier. He brings the free safety all the way down in the box. Here on first and 10 from the 15. Sending out five receivers. Oh, he keeps the... He hands it off again and gets absolutely blown up. That's Deion Sanders coming through. And you know what, Scott? Not a lot of incomplete passes in this game, and the clock's just continuing to move. It looks like we're already going to be in the fourth quarter. He's going to take this to the fourth. We'll put up your fours in chat. And that's where we'll go. We're headed to the fourth quarter here in San Francisco at the Madden Club Championship. We're here in the AFC East final. And it's just a six to three ball game. And we're headed back in. Five minutes to go. I gotta put my four in the chat real quick. <laughs> loading, loading, it loading. It is loading. <laughs> Epic fail. Second and 11 now. Vic. And he'll check it down to Randy Ooh. Moss. Makes a nice spin to the nine. And how about Jay Wall? He has the ball for the entire third quarter. Still has the rock, Scott. And this just shows you why possessions in Madden are so important. When a guy can easily milk an entire quarter and not even complete his drive yet. That just shows you how aggressive you need to be and you really need to cherish each and every one of those possessions because you truly don't know how many you're going to get. Thick of the nine-yard line. Look at the back third. of the end zone. <laughs> Look at that reaction. Couldn't find him. Fourth and four. Young Jay Wall. The right thing to do right here is tie this ball game up, and that's what he's going to do. A long, prolific drive like that just to settle for three. Now they're knotted up at six in the fourth quarter, Scott. I, we knew this one was going to come down to the wire. This is going to be a huge drive coming up for Blocky. Return, turn it out to the 20-yard line. 
Let's take a look at the defensive side of the ball. We, we give the offense too much gas sometimes, but we're going to look at the perspective here of Jay Wall on defense. See him in a cover two look right now. Let's see if we can see his play out when he does that scum little D line shift. He's sending the backers. Oh man, he's sending six. And Ooh, somehow squeezes it in off. to a tight window and gets it out to the 44. That was risky. And he actually didn't send six. He sent five. He put his nickel back corner in a bluff blitz assignment would allowed him to drop back in a three wreck and almost help play that drag round. It's very interesting. I love to see that type of stuff. And that's some of the benefits we'll get by looking at Jay Wall's defensive playoff. As time has a man, that's Randy again. And it's going to be a second and two from the 48. Jay Wall seems very committed to just staying in this Tampa 2 defense. You see it right there on the screen. There's the play art. Watch these adjustments, though. <laughs> Flying through them. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just turns it into a cover six. No big deal. All on the fly. So all the, oh, they call the same play over and over again. Now they call the same play, but they adjust like animals. And to me, that's that, that mirrors you know, traditional NFL football where, hey, we got our base package, but we're going to see what you come out in, and then we're going to adjust. Uh, it, 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 you could call cover three, and NFL teams know if it's spread, we're going to match. If they go to a trips, the cover three automatically converts to a maple. And that's the way these Madden players play as well. They know once they see a certain formation, what adjustments they need to make to get the coverage to be exactly the way they want. You got to watch the seam. That's a first down. He's still on his feet. Dion, all the way down to the 34. Blocky might have had some action. A tight end flying up that seam. Little pass lead to the middle. Nonetheless, makes the smart read. Less risky, gets the first down, and continues to let that clock tick. Boy, that drag spin combo in Mad 19. It's devastating. And, and the thing to me that makes it so overpowered is you can get hit in the back and you just don't seem to fumble. The defense right there by Jay Wall. You got to get down if you're blocky. Look at this clock management, Scott, just continuing to milk it away. We got 235 to go in the ball game. I mean, he's going to take his time here. He might be able to snap the ball, pick up this first down, and then start making Jay Wall get into those timeouts. He might be able to kick a game-winning field goal here without letting Jay Wall sniff the ball again. We'll take it to the two-minute warning if you can keep the clock moving after this play. Look at the scum pinch. There it is again. Just throws it to the corner route. And he's still on his feet. He can't beat me. Woo! You see blocks. Man, man, come on. You hear him. Field goal just won't do it in his mind. Oh, when block Seven's gonna win this ball game. When Blocky talks, I just shut up and listen. You don't get a piece of Blocky too often, but look at him showing that passion. This obviously means a lot to him. This is a young man that puts in a lot of hard work, a lot of hours. He's passionate about his Madden football. I think he's getting comfortable too here in Madden 19 compared to last year. Kind of opening up. Let's remember, Scott, twelve and a half thousand dollars on the line right now for this game alone. Hand it off. And oh! He's in for six. Touchdown, Blocky. Dolphins on top. And now, if you're Jay Wall. You need to represent that number 12 jersey that you're wearing and put together a guap drive in the fourth quarter with your team down seven. This is the moment the Patriots live for in real life. Let's see if the Patriots representative. Well, the Dolphins fans have their fins up. But can Jay Wall represent New England? Look at it again, RG. This run, good stick work. Easy peasy. He said, GG, come on. Get blocky. All kinds of emotion. I'm loving these replay clips of the, the blocky reactions. Good work by the truck in the back. First and 10 here for J Wall. 
Thickens. And mm -hmm. Taylor will trip him up at the 32. It's going to be a second and three. Here's the thing with you, Jay Wall. You still have all three of your timeouts. So even if you were able to turn the, if you did turn the ball over or did get stopped, you wouldn't be completely out of it. But I guarantee you that's not on Jay Wall's mind at all. He's just looking to score. Doesn't want to have to make it that complicated. Good throw. Out of bounds at the 36. That'll move the chains. Nice touch. This is to make it first and 10. This is intense, Scott. This is intense. Under two minutes left. Down seven. Your, MC, your club championship life on the line. Going up against a division rival. Vic. Looking. Jay Law will find Tyreek, and that's close to the marker. Going to depend on the spot. Just shy, second and one. Just looking so prolific out here, Scott. Moving the rock, you know. Both of these guys got their families back home watching, their friends back home watching. So much on the line right now. Time is running out. It's that comeback route that he loves so much. Hasn't been there all game, though. Third That's going to be close. That's going to be third down, Scott. Third and two. He lost the yard. Lost the yard there. And so 117 to go in a seven-point ball game. My defense really creeping into the box here on third and two. Rocky just sitting in this nickel normal. Hasn't let up a touchdown yet this game. Some point you got to go to the corner out here. Oh, Doesn't square. have time. One stop. One stop. One stop. Jason Taylor One stop. has been a difference maker in this ball game. Oh, and is it fitting if anyone's going to be a difference maker against the Patriots for the Miami <laughs> Dolphins? Jason Taylor seems quite appropriate. He he caused havoc against the Patriots for years. This is it, Scott. Huge play. Biggest play of the game right here. Still has all three timeouts, but this might be fourth in the game. This could be fourth in your tournament if you're Jay Wall. Look at the focus of that young man. He knows this is big, Scott. Vic standing tall for Jay Wall, and he overthrew him. Here's the thing, Scott. We talked about it at the start of the drive. Jay Blocky not in field goal range, so can't make it two possessions very easily. Jay Wall, all three timeouts still. Game still not over. One first down will seal it though for Blocky. If you're Jay Wall, you gotta fight till the very end, and you gotta get stinge mode right here if you want to give the New England Patriots any chance to advance in this club championship. And there's a big sack. Needed it, and there's a timeout. That wasn't Willie McGinnis, that was D. Ford. And you gotta wonder, was Blocky just willing to take that sack to ensure that the clock just kept on moving so we can start getting into these J. Wall timeouts? Last thing you want to do if you're Blocky here is throw an incomplete pass. It's not over yet. Here comes a second and 19. Screaming again, the loop doesn't get there. He got away from the loop. Very smart, though, by Blocky to just get down with the Vic and Scott. You can't afford to take a hit. If you were to take a hit with Vic and fumble, that would be something that you would remember forever. Had it end up being the deciding factor of Jay Wall tying up this game or not. Here it is, Scott, third and 19. Jay Wall is still one timeout remaining. Blocky. Still slanging. Gets hit again with Vic. And there's a final timeout, 36 seconds to go. Expecting a punt here from the 46. He'll try to pin him deep. He has to kick this out of bounds. If I'm Jay Wall, let him even try to block that kick. Oh, he's going to have a chance to return it. No! And it'll bounce into the end zone. Oh. And he'll take it at the 20-yard line. Now you got to field that with 29 seconds to go. you gotta, you got to roll the dice. Oh, if you can get the ball in the hands of your best playmaker, Tyreek Hill, in the open field, you got to do it, but that's not something people practice often. You're so used to letting the AI just get to that ball landing spot and go there for you. So a rare situation where you would have had to click on and try to get it I yourself. I got a quick correction to make. I gave a lot of 
homage to Jason Taylor. He's also got another 99 on the field. That's Bosa. Both of those guys have been going to work for Blocky. 29 seconds to go. No timeouts. Needs a touchdown. Rolling, looking, has a man wide open. And he will get out of bounds at the 47. Boy, I almost thought he didn't get his feet in bounds. Can we see a little New England Patriots revenge on the Miami Dolphins for that game earlier in the season? Can Jay Wall make it happen, Scott? Blocky going to try to get Stinch. Maybe he can reverse history here. Jay Wall will check oh, down. Out of 18 seconds now. He's chipping away here, Scott, chipping away. And we've seen some crazy things in this event. If you can get a guy like Randy Moss or a Kittle to get their hands on that ball, he's got Cooper and Moss. Both of those guys very dangerous in this situation, along with the speedster Tyree Kill. Plenty to worry about right here if you're blocky. Second and six. Oh, it. And throws into coverage, oh, and it's picked it off. off. Blocky's going to win this ball game. He's 20 grand richer. Wow. Look at the show of respect up there, too. My two classy competitors. The young Jay Wall wow. really made a name for himself this season. Scott beat the great Mike Skimbo, representing the New England Patriots but runs into one of the most wow. consistent players we've had on the MCS now for it seems like the last two years and Young Blocky. Remember, Final Four of Ultimate League, two-time Dolphins Club champion, made the Final Eight of the Madden Classic, and now advances in this club championship, pocketed an additional $20,000. When you're talking about a world-class player, you're talking about yeah, Abbott Lopez, a.k.a. Blocky. Well, they're trying to run the clock out here. That one's over. Blocky's going to be moving on. Let's take a look at some of these highlights and how he did it. Boy, there was some stingy defense out there on both sides of the ball, but a late touchdown proved to be a difference. Let's jump into these highlights here, RG. CJ Wall starting off early down 3 nothing. Takes a big sack with the Vickens. Almost knocks him out of field goal range, but he was able to get three. And you see just Bosa. Eaton right there, and some reaction from Blocky. Look at this, just party after party, meeting after meeting at the quarterback in the pocket. Get it to Randy Moss here, that was a big pickup. Waning minutes of the fourth quarter. He will take this one all the way down to the three yard line and boom, the play of the game right there. Huge drive by Blocky. Look at the emotion. And just able to respond every time he needed to. And there's the pick right here that seals it. And that was almost close. That almost looked like the Minnesota miracle, Scott. Had that DB not get that interception, Tyreek might have been off to the races. But Blocky makes the huge play, secures the bag, gets the W. Well, they're both headed back to the players' lounge, but one's going to be playing tomorrow. And that's going to be the man there in Teal, number 21, Blocky.